Once the pace truck goes down pit road, it's going to be in the hands of Kenny Strummy and Marcus Sachi. The first race in the Camping World Winter Series. The next day we're out of G Resources 250. It's green. Let's do this. They were just three wide for the top spot. The 88 of Zach Ryan takes the race lead away, and he is going to lead lap number one. And now we come to the final lap for the first playoff point. They are three by three for the race lead. Michael Canto pushing the 49. Let's see what Canto could do. Anyone in that top five could win the... Win this first playoff point of the season. Canto, Ferris, and Newman. That's your top four. Here we go. Canto tries to look up the middle. He can't find a way to do it. Here comes Brian Ferris in the 27 to the inside. They're side by side for the second position. And that means Rat's going to cut down low in front of the 27. And coming off of turn number four, the first playoff point. In the Camping World Winter Series, it's going to go to the number 49 of Premium Motorsports, David Rat. Now the yellow flag does not come out here. We keep this race green. Coming to the line for the final lap for the first playoff point. And now Sachi goes to the inside. And he's got help of Jaden Scott. Sachi thought about it for a moment. He wanted to go for it. Jaden Scott and Ethan Hoffman pushing the race leader, Marcus Sachi. Benny Watson up there in fourth. Denton's in fifth. Down the back stretch, Jaden Scott and Ethan Hoffman will work together going down to the inside. Hoffman wants to do it himself. Three wide for the race lead. For the second playoff point in the race. Is it going to be Ethan Hoffman? Or is it going to be the pole sitter, Kenny Strevy off turn four? Strevy's going to take him, try to take a look at the inside. No, he has second thoughts about it. Ethan Hoffman wins playoff point number two. So 15 laps to go at Daytona. This is a great race so far. Luckily, we have not seen a, no, we have not seen any trouble yet. Patrick Smith right now. He's got a good lead right now over those drivers that are three wide. In the turn and oh boy, watch closely here. I think we're gonna go four wide here at Daytona. And yes, we are. Oh boy, it's not gonna turn out good. Brian Ferris, Donovan, do that you. Julio Caesar and Cortez Newman down the backstretch. Four wide, never works at Daytona. Turn three is Calamity Corner here at the Daytona International Speedway. And there it is! Hundred Mendez around with Carter Friesen at the number 50. Here's the big one. Johnny Garner is in it. Kenny Strummy is involved. A car out truck is up on its roof. And that is, I believe that is, I can't tell. It's a Chevrolet. It's Gatlin Downey in the 57. No, Jay Rodriguez in the 38. And there's more trouble. Oh, Big Lex. That is, that's, I believe, I can't, that's Yepes in the 8 and Caudill in the 33 as the first caution is out with 10 laps to go. And at the moment of caution coming to the line, Zachary Fitzwater is the leader. So down the back so we'll play it in full speed until we get into turn number three. Oh wow, it wasn't a cause of the four wide situation. Oh, we had two four wides going on, that's why. Alright, so you see Friesen just gets very little room, gets into the six of Mendez. You see Gordon nowhere to go. Granton is in it. Look at the stack up here. There's Hoffman. I saw a cargo upside down. It was Jay Rodriguez in the 38, similar to what we saw with Reagan Willock who got involved. Garner is in it. 
Yes, that was the cause of it. Now let's see the other wreck that broke out here. Brian Ferris involved. Ooh, big lick from Diego Yepes. Or from Chandler Cotto on Diego Yepes. Ah, oh, this was that same four wide situation. Off turn four, Duthin it into the 27. Caesars involved. There goes Hanley. Lewis, oh, he, did he save it? Oh my goodness, he did. What a save by TJ Hanley, and he's still in contention to win it. Zydell gets a piece of it. This is Caudill trying to avoid the wreck. The orange cone is involved as well. And we will have some takers. The entire field is coming down. We're going to have two drivers, maybe even three. The 20 of Noah Eli is going to play some strategy. So we have a lot of the drivers coming down pit road at the moment. Let's watch what happens. As the field comes in, Daytona, by the way, is a narrow pit road. So you got to watch where you're driving here. Fitzwater's going to go gas and goes here. Checking to see if any wrecks happen. It looks like no big wrecks are taking place for right now. Oh, watch out! Fitzwater nearly hits Tony Green. He will win the race off pit road, though. Anderson second. Reed is fourth. Who's going to get fourth? It's going to be Canto fourth. Green fifth. Rut sixth. Battle for seventh. That's Newman. Hanley is eighth. Hamill ninth. And Johnson is tenth. Oh! Oh! Anderson's fun! How in the world did that happen? Oh, wow. DJ Reed, that's uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. DJ Reed being forced to go to the hall, being called to the hall or post race, getting a stern warning by race control for that one. Now, can he actually get that big push he needs from Isaac Nichols in the 32? Let's go on board with the defending race winner. He's got the run. Max Anderson to the race lead. Oh boy, that's getting intense off turn two. Colin Dutton trying to look to the inside. Eric Monaco, or is that Tony Green? That's Tony Green looking for third. Unable to, here comes Michael Canto in the 63. Up to fourth. Marty Johnson's up there with help from Patrick Smith. There are a total of, I want to say... If I'm correct, 22 trucks in a pack. Colin Dante looking to the inside with two laps to go. He could be challenging Anderson for the race lead. And do I hear lap traffic? Oh my goodness, we do. Benny Watson could change the game next in turn two. But he's got, he is very fast though. Isaac Nichols rejected by Marty Johnson. Here goes Canto to the inside for the race lead. DJ Reed's up there as well in the, in the 47. Two by two in a turn three. Will Reed go to the inside? Yes, he will. Three wide for the race lead. Cortez Newman comes up there as well. Here they come off of turn number four. They'll see the white flag this time by DJ Reed in command. Benny Watson will determine who wins this race. Cortez Newman looks to the inside. TJ Haley wants to win as a non charter. DJ Reed is a non charter as well. As we're at the white flag, brought to you by Credit One Bank. TJ Haley in command right now. Hanley has help from Cody Prince. Watson's going to slow the low line down. Does this help out DJ Reed? Yes, it does. DJ Reed to the point. Michael Canto is up in second spot. He could try and get second. He could try and go for the win. They're stacking him up thanks to TJ Hanley. Here comes Max Anderson. And the non-charter going to win the next era to 50. I think it will. DJ Reed in command. He's coming off of turn number four. DJ Reed has the battle for second behind him. DJ Reed wins it at Daytona.